Well, good afternoon. Earlier I shot some video footage at one of my favorite local parks. And it's a, um, the video is for a sub-appreciation giveaway for North Survival. He has a second channel called UpTrail71. And between his two channels, I guess he's got 250 or close to 250 subs. He's uh, going to do two drawings. He's one winner on each drawing. And what he wants to see is he wants us to show him uh, our stove and cook setup. What we take with us when we go in the woods to cook with. Well, what you're about to see is answers both those questions. Stoves and cook setups. And I can't quite show all of them, but it's in the video. Enjoy. Welcome to Brainerd Road Park, Enfield, Connecticut. This is a park here up in the north end of the town. There's a couple of baseball fields and a few picnic tables. One right there. But it's still covered in the snow and the shade, so that's why I'm not over there on the picnic table. Okay, uh, you wanted to see what we used to cook on and cook in. Well, here we go. I'm going to start with this big boy. Let me clear some of the smaller stuff out of the way. Okay. We'll start off with my Coleman propane two burner stove. Now this bad boy has been with me. Oh God. 25 years, I guess, maybe something, maybe 20. And I've got the uh, little little cube stove that was sent to me by uh, Hiram Cook with a Zabaton pillow in it. Fill that thing with alcohol and it burns pretty good. Here's generally how I carry alcohol. And so far, the only alcohol I use is the 91. Uh, isopropyl. I can't seem to get my hands on the uh, good stuff. And heat is a little expensive. This is just one of those uh, El Cheapo gel canisters that I got from, uh, oh, what was it called? Um, Ocean State Job Lots. 89 cent. Four hours of burn time. Now, I don't have it here with me. But, kind of like this one, only I have a three-burner Coleman camp stove for, that burns the white gas or unleaded gas. And that, well, I couldn't tell you its exact age, but I can tell you my granddad gave it to me when I was 20. And I know he'd been cooking on it for all of 20 years anyhow, and I'm an old man now. So, we're probably looking at 80 or 100 years, I couldn't tell you for sure. Now, I also have a Coleman 533 that's a little older than this, but not as old as the three burner. It is a white gas stove. I believe I've shown it in several videos. Again, I don't have that with me. That one is actually out on loan to my brother-in-law at the moment. And uh, <laughs> that's been with me going on 30 years. Anyhow. Now, I dropped it. I haven't reached back there to get it yet. I hope this is picking it up. Is that... Now, well, let me get it up here in the sun. It's in the shadow, so it's maybe not showing up on the video. Oh, God bless it. Okay. Let me get it out in the sun. I build a campfire. I've got a grate to put on a couple stones and put my cookware on top of it. Now, let's talk about cookware. First off, we're going to go with the East German mess kit that I got from... Um, Ranger Kooky. Then we've got the little stainless steel cook pot that I made myself out of an ice bucket with a lid. I have three like that. The lids all vary a little bit. Then we've got my stainless steel cup 
I have another lid somewhere for it that fits it. Just about like that one does. It's a little smaller. Okay. Then we're going to move over to this thing. Now, if you watch my channel at all, you'll recognize this as a fry pan that I made. That's right. I made this fry pan. It used to be a lid for car wax. Metal. How do you like that black patina on there? And, of course, I can always put this lid on that if I need a lid for that for a moment. Now, we're going to move down a bit. We've seen my Reliance Canteen. And USGI Aluminum Canteen Cup. it! So I've got the Reliance Canteen. And, of course, i got several Nelgenes. Uh, now, let's get back a little bit here. Got my... This is going to blow some folks' minds. I got two of these in here. Let's see if I can get them to come apart. There we go. Now you all know what that is. That's a Frisbee. But you know what? Makes a very lightweight eating plate. Now this is a project still in the, in the works. This is a fry pan I picked up. Somebody just tossed it away. Ain't nothing really wrong with it except, guess what? The handle's gone. Well, I'm planning a trip to the hardware store to get me a bolt, a wing bolt, that'll fit in that hole. And maybe just about a half inch of uh, threads that'll stick out past that square. And I have some flat bar stock that I will drill a hole just big enough for the wing bolt to go through, and then I'll bend it over 90 degrees or so, and make me a handle to go on that pan. But that pan has no lid, right? It didn't when I got it. It do now. That was a lid I picked up with another batch of fry pans that I got elsewhere that had no mate to the bottom. Perfect fit. Then we'll move back down here to my bigger skillet. This was in that same batch of fry pans that that one without a handles on. Uh, Calphalon. Now I'm not a big fan of non-stick skillets, but hey, free is free. I haven't done anything with this since I picked it up. It do need a good wash, but it looks serviceable. And like I said, you can't beat free with a stick. So I got free. This cost me 50 cents at a tag sale. This and the cup together I got for a buck at Salvation Army. The Frisbees were a free giveaway. Frying pan and lid both were free. Free, pot, free pan and the handle I made for it was free. It was leftovers from a turkey roasting pan. My stainless steel bucket pot and lid together cost me about 88 cents. The bale handle, same as the handle on the fry pan. Leftovers from a roasting pan from a turkey. This cup, I've shown it on my channel. It's 50 cents at a tag sale. Of course, this was a freebie uh, a prize from a subscriber giveaway. The stove, I don't know what I get for that. It's been so long. And then, of course, like I said, a freebie in a prize giveaway. Uh, 80 cents, or 90 cents for the uh, alcohol can, gel can. And then the alcohol, you, know, you all know what it costs at Wally World for those. And that rate, great right there was part of a... Um, toaster oven that somebody threw away and I stopped and picked up the grate. Free is free. So all total I think I've got, let's see, 50 cents, 88 cents, uh, so that's about a dollar thirty and a dollar for that. So uh, I think I got about four dollars maximum tied up in all of this except for the alcohol and alcohol gel can. If we, well, the gel can I counted in that, sorry about that. I think the alcohol was about uh, $2 for that bottle, big bottle full there. And I refilled little bottles from it. So that's why it's only half full. So we've got about a buck and a half there in alcohol stuff. 50 cents. I bought three of these pots for uh, 50 cents. No, it was a dollar. So 33 cents each. The lids, uh, I think I got 50 cents tied up in the lid. So 80 cents for the pot. Uh, all free, 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 free. 
Uh, I think I give a dollar for that at Sally's Canteen and Cup, and the rest and fifty cents for the Nalgene. So, buck fifty, uh, two thirty, two eighty, four eighty. Let's call it five fifty. I got five fifty tied up in all of that gear right there. Okay. Now I have other cooking gear that I just don't have with me. As I say, I've got three of these buckets right here. Only got the one with me. Uh, I've got a much larger cook pot that I could bring out that actually holds two gallons. But that's only what I'm taking to cook for a crowd. That stays at the house most of the time. But this is all just gear I had in the truck when I decided to make this video. You wanted to know how we cook and what we cook? Well, there you have it. Oh, I almost forgot to mention on stoves. I got about a half a dozen soda pop and beer can stoves. Uh, some used, some not used yet, some in the process. I'm still trying to get my hands on a fancy feast can so I can make a fancy feast stove. But then I got to figure out where to get some more carbon fill. Well, that's the way it is for now. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Peace out. By the way, don't forget to.